Thanks for everything. It's a good country, though. I know. Not everyone's what, overlooking you. Yeah. That's what I'm Yeah, so we are ranked high. You know, I feel like we're doing good. We're on a roll. And just, we gotta, it's one of those things we got to keep going. Jazz, when you say that, I know Michigan State guys talk about it all the time, too. You chip on their shoulder. They feel disrespected in the shadow of Michigan. How does that translate to tangible things during the week, during preparation? Uh, it just makes you lock in even more. It makes you focus and prepare even harder than, than you usually do. It's just... Uh, that's one of those internal things that I don't know just drives you to do even more and uh, make sure you keep uh, keep striving to be the best you can. Jess, how tough were those catches on third down? Pretty easy with the way Alex seemed to be kind of always always put in the right spot for him. Did you have to work very hard for any of those catches? Uh, no. I mean, like you said, I mean you put him in the perfect spot, so it just feels very routine. Uh, it just feels like practice most of the time. Uh, when, they're, when they look that easy like that, so I wouldn't say they were tough at all. You guys were able to convert third downs at Michigan State, a lot of third and longs, in fact. Have you looked at what Michigan does on third down defense? They're number, I think number one in the country. People uh, have converted 12% against them. Uh, have not looked yet, but okay. we'll, we'll be starting today. When, when, when that number 12% jumps out at you, what do you, what do you automatically think of? Because, I mean, that's, for teams to only convert 12% is pretty incredible. Um, I think about what we can do, and I think about what I know we can do, and uh, I know we can convert to third downs, and I know we can make plays uh, anywhere on the field. So that 12% was 12% against other teams. What was the difference in red zone efficiency this week? Uh, for this week, I feel like uh, our coaches made a huge, huge deal about finishing in the red zone because uh, we uh, got to make sure we come out with uh, six points every time. Uh, especially playing tough teams like that, you know, we got to come out with six. Three, three is always nice, but six is the goal. Did you see any offense went to a different level with Alex at quarterback last week, or is that not your area? Um, to a different level, I don't know if I could say that yet, or any, make any comparisons or things like that yet. But I mean, he did a great job uh, with his first start, and uh, he got us the win. Jazz, when Alex first got here, did anything jump out to you about him? Uh, he was, he was goofy. He was a very goofy guy. He, uh, he's a character. He's got a great personality, but he's really serious. He's a serious guy as well, and uh, he puts in a lot of work, and he understands the position he's in now, and I feel like he's taking advantage of it. Did you see yeah, any nerves? Also goofy. Uh, he's always cracking jokes. He's always doing little things uh, when people aren't looking just to, like, make gives you, like, that face and things like that. Like, he's just a funny guy. Did you see any nerves when you in the huddle? Not at all. Not one. How often do you guys work on corner routes in practice? I mean, because the two he hit were, uh, it's obviously, it, I would, I'm assuming it's a result of repetition. Yeah, well, uh, I feel like that's one of the, the the biggest routes that we're always working on, and that's that's every receiver is always working on the corner routes and things like that, because we know how, how valuable those can be, especially if you're in the right place, right time, and everyone's doing their part. Yeah, excited to get a taste of the big house in Ann Arbor. That's, you know, you think of historic stadiums and that's Jay Waddle's in front. Oh for sure. Uh when I first heard about uh, the big house, you know, like it pulled like over a hundred thousand or something like that. Like that's that's insane. So I feel like that's gonna be very exciting to play. Good luck, thank you. Thank you. Look, is there a difference between eighty thousand and a hundred thousand? Really? Not really. Yeah, when you say it like that, not really, not at all. I mean, it all sounds the same. Every stadium's always loud, especially when you're playing away. Uh, they're always going to be rooting against you. So, I mean, it's just one of those things you just got to lock in with your team and uh, handle business.